Well, you join us today at Harbury Fields Farm campsite. And uh, we're staying here the night before we go to the NEC show tomorrow where we're doing a meet and greet on the VW stand. Sean is currently plugging us in somewhere behind me. We're all set up camp. Uh, it's so nice and quiet here, really lovely. Um, we'll show you around the campsite as well because it's a lovely campsite. And incidentally, we actually came here for the very, f this was the first campsite we ever came to with a California and it wasn't this one. It was um, the one that VW lent us before we bought one to see if we liked it. And we came here uh, amongst a few other places. Obviously we didn't film that because we weren't filming back then, but that was three years ago. So three years ago we've been doing camping in a California for now. So that's crazy. And we're back here again. So um, yeah, this is pretty exciting. What are you doing? I was just reading the uh, site information. Should they've I go got, for wonder? They've got some hunting cats. <laughs> what? <laughs> they've got two hunting cats called Kitty and Socks. Why are they hunting cats? They often appear at night to kill anyone that's outside the van <laughs> after half ten. Um, they've got a dog as well, the Border Collie. Um, and three horses, Fran, Bella and Dickie. 230 sheep, 222 and a half acres the farmers and the yeah. caravan site's right in the middle of it all. Let's go for a wander, let's go and have a look. Yeah. Last time we were here with Bentley and there's a walk right off down that way and it goes all the way around the field um, which is great for taking the dog. It's really quite muddy though so he needs to be prepared to clean the pooch once he's been out there. Um, and I know once again this is yet another video without Bentley in but I promise you that will be rectified soon. We are just as annoyed as you guys are because we really miss having him with us when we're away traveling. And he misses it too, but I promise you, he will be coming with us very, very soon. What are the toilets like? They're good. They, like the, on this bit, there's two, and they're individual cubicles, look. So you've got like loads of room. Gosh, this is huge in here. That's a cubicle. Hang on, what? So you lock this door? You lock this door and you have all of that. But you've got two toilets. What? So does that mean we can both go to the toilet at the same time? I imagine it's a bit of a family room. Yes. So you, if you've got kids and you want to... You can lock them in and then lock yourself away yeah. from the children. Yeah. <laughs> They're lovely and warm. Yeah, really warm. Pretty good. Very clean. Couple of plates. Sean is cooking. What's pan, cooking? Pan, pan, pan. The world's most expensive pasta. Sean has been raging about this all day. Because this here, crab and crayfish ravioli from Waitrose. Waitrose, course, that's why. Costs five pounds. Five English pounds. Have we got the Ridge Monkeys? Yeah, we've got one. Go to the left one. This is typical man here. Right, go to the Where left, is it? left cupboard. You left see that thing cupboard. inside a bag at the bottom? Oh yeah. Because you've got to do the garlic bread in a ridge monkey. Oh yes. Got to get everything out before you start. They you, look good. You've got to get everything out before you start, but you never actually do get everything out. It's impossible to remember everything. Well, let's see if you remembered everything. Right. I guarantee I won't have done. It's impossible. 
Right. Have we got everything? No, it's impossible. But I think I've got everything. Oh, have you put the table out too soon? Look at this. Yeah, that's nice now, aren't they? That's lasted really well. Got some of these as well, look, garlic dough balls. Oh, 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 oh. Was that you or was that a sheep I could hear in the background? I don't think it was me. This is in the way. Um. Before you start as well, I just want to mention something. Can you show the camera please what I discovered today when I was cleaning the hob that you haven't told me for three years and a hundred videos? That you can lift these bits out. So in order to clean, I've been cleaning around these for three years and a hundred videos and you can just remove them and he only told me today. That's because that's the first time Lizzie's ever actually cleaned the that hob. That is not true. <laughs> At it's all. the first time and I was like it's the oh, first I've time I've cleaned this hob properly because I've realized you can take that off I've been doing this for three years so by the way you can take that off I was not happy and if you follow us on Instagram you'll have seen my insta story about it I was very unimpressed so he's cooking dinner tonight as a result all right Jurassic Park get us a drink drink what do you want uh, I'll start with a ginger one. I said that about wives. <laughs> what do you mean start with a ginger one? <laughs> what are you having? I'm having a Sunday Pale Ale. What is that? I quite like the label, just like nothing to it at all. There's literally nothing to that. Cheers. Very nice indeed. Cheers everyone. Cheers. Scissors. Scissors, that's what I forgot to get out. I tell you, it's impossible. It's impossible. I'll get it for you. Thankfully, we've got lots of pairs of scissors. Impossible. Perfect. Oh. Oh dear. At least you know how to clean it. Garlic balls. Two for you. What? There's loads there. How was the shower? It was really, really nice. Really nice. Was yours really hot? Mine yeah, it's absolutely lovely. Absolutely boiling. It was brilliant. Loved it. Yeah, it's great. Can you now not see me at all? Yeah, just I can see you in the light. Do yeah. you like my attire? I do. Look at that. This is lovely. So this is from um, Giso. This is one of the microfiber um, dressing gowns, and it has like changed my world I have to take like barely any towels with me and it's great to go to and from the shower in and it dries you like instantly and it folds up to be absolutely tiny so we'll put a link in the description to it uh, I think it's called Giso G-I-S-O come in a range of different colours as well so check that out but yeah honestly brilliant love it as always we always hide stickers at the show and if you come and find a sticker and send us a picture of you taking a selfie with the sticker or just of the sticker then you get entered into a competition and you can win one of our t-shirts so it's well worth doing um, I also do some extra prizes as well like stickers and things like that so there's plenty of prizes going around um, but yeah so little hint here might be on a little uh, Van Gogh stand somewhere shh, shh. But there's going to be lots around, so come and hunt them all down. Right, 
Right, so how you enter is you send us a picture with you with the sticker, and that can be on like Twitter, or on Facebook, or on Instagram, any of the social medias. Um, you can post it up on the Abus and Beyond chat group as well, which is on Facebook, where everyone's got like a great little community, so you can discuss your adventures and things like that. So put it up there. So there's lots of ways to enter. I'll pick them all up, and then cl collate them all together, and then pick out a few winners. So. So what do you think about this from a new offering from Van Gogh? This is called the Magra. It's a new design. It kind of, it's still got the air beam technology. So you still got, you still pump it up and then you've got a couple of poles, uh, aluminium poles by looks of things, which give you your awning. There's air beam on the other side that gives you a bigger awning that's kind of at an angle, which looks quite cool, but it's nice and long. Uh, it sticks out a bit further from the van uh, compared to like a keeler. But um, yeah, it still doesn't take up a massive footprint, so it's pretty good that. I like that, and you've still got your kind of porch way through to the van, where when we've used our awning, we kind of hide the toilet in there and stuff, but it's, yeah, it's great. And you've got like doors to go all the way through, you can get all the way through, you can get this way, um, loads of windows. The windows are massive, look, all the way around. Yeah, very smart, and we're actually gonna try and get hold of one of these to give it a full review so stay tuned for that another new thing from Van Gogh is this windbreak air beam windbreak so you get three of these in a pack and they all attach to, um, to each other using like a driver away kit you can see in here they uh, they all attach together you've got a little window in them it's inflatable so when you're not using it it goes down to Quite a small pack it goes down to um i think it's a 20 centimeters by 80 centimeters pack so much smaller than having like huge wooden poles really good idea for um keeping the dog penned in so he can't escape yeah i like that it's a good idea So this is a new caravan from Bailey. This is the Discovery range. This is the two berth and it's it's really cool. It's a dinky little caravan. Um, I mean, what's it weigh? It must only weigh nine, 995 kilos? No, 884 kilos. It's got 111 kilos of payload. So, you know, under a ton. And it, it's, it's really big. You've got loads really, of space. Really For two of you, this is really nice. And the upholstery is lovely. A huge washroom behind Lizzie. This table folds out. So that you... is a great window, I think, there. Yeah, yeah, and it's got blinds in, so you can obviously fly screen there and then the proper blinds as well, uh, blackout blinds. See if we can borrow one. Yeah, tow it behind the Defender. Oh, be How cool would that brilliant. be? Do you remember all this? Loads of storage. And even with like an oven, look at that, the oven in there. So you got an oven, three burner gas hob, decent sized sink. Loads of cupboards, loads of cupboards. But is that bathroom is absolutely enormous. Yeah. And then the shower attach, big nice, big shower attachment there, sink. And then have a look at this as well. Very impressed. You need to spin all the way around. Oh, you go that way, you I'm go that make way. people dizzy. This cupboard here goes all the way that way as well. Oh yeah. So you've got a hanging space and then, yeah. Plenty of space in there. Big fridge as well. Yeah, the fridge is huge actually for a caravan of this size. A nice worktop that you can put your TV. Um, yeah, very smart. The dog would love it. He would, definitely. really exciting venture by Haima, the Duo Car S, and we have actually done a review of this already, so I'll put a link in the description to that so you can have a look at it. Now the subscribers who asked us to have a look at this in the first place have actually bought one now, and we cannot wait to see their adventures in their Duo Car S. It's going to be really exciting to watch. How 
how unbelievably big is this caravan. Look at this, look. 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 That's ridiculous. That is absolutely massive. And you, you can still just tow it. <laughs> Imagine trying to get around some of our UK roads. All joking aside, this is the new Estella from uh, Adria. And it's more designed to be um, like moved maybe once or twice a year. It's supposed to be a bit more of a static caravan really, but um, it's very, very smart inside, very cool. come to the hobby stand and uh, I did watch the Here We Tow vlog the other day that said that they were going to be working with hobby well it looks like they're definitely going to be working with hobby look at the signs it's amazing so if you want to check out Here We Tow check out the link in the description we'll put that in there for them We've got some Bentley sized crocs here. Actually, they're probably still too small. amazing dressing gown that I tried on earlier that I've been using all around Europe and all over the place uh, that I found really really useful for campsites and it compacts down really small so that you can fit it in your bag very easily but obviously you have a dressing gown to go to and from the uh, campsite showers with that is from Gizo which are at the show so come and check them out if you're here they've also got a range of different ones now so they've got like a fluffier one that's got a bit of cotton in too so it really feels very very nice um, and also they've got a reduction now on the ones that I showed earlier, so definitely worth checking out. Hello. Where are you? Well, I am in the cabin area in here. This is very nice. This is in a Concorde, but it's quite a cool design. I like the fact that it's got these beds above the cab. And then obviously <laughs> you can just, I can't, it's like a hobbit hole in there. <laughs> Those beds are good though, aren't they? Yeah, the top they're there. brilliant. There we go. Yeah, so these are enormous beds. Shower. Lovely shower. And then I think this must be a toilet, is it? Oh, I can get in. There we go. Whoa. Oh, this is a nice toilet. Let me show you. Look at this. I'm liking the floor. This door closes as well. Oh, yeah. So you can get the privacy. Having the toilet, and then also there's another door behind me, so you can actually shut off the bedroom area as well. If I can find the door. Oh, it's attached up there. But there is another door there, so you can shut off the bedroom area too. But this is an enormous bed, look at that. A couple of nice windows. Huge fridge and freezer. Oh, shiny. Oven at the top there, and this, this cupboard's huge. Look at the size of that. Massive hanging space in there loads of storage and then at the back you've got a big lounge area huge lounge area actually huge lounge area lovely big table cream leather not very dog friendly but there's also seat belted <laughs> seats at the back there yeah yeah so you can sit down oh we've got a tv there stereo in, the, in this little area here i like the little cabinet as well you put all your glassware and then behind Lizzie is the kitchen. So it's a three burner hub. Lots of storage above and below. Now this is uh, a Concorde Cruiser. So I don't know if you've seen our other video of 
a Concorde, which was nearly a million pounds. <laughs> this one is um, not quite that. This is two hundred and seventy thousand pounds, but it's still very, very expensive, but very, very nice. How the other half live, eh? Well, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who came to the meet and greet on the BW stand. It was so good meeting all of you. My voice is gone. I've done so much talking. Um, but if you are at the show, VW have got the Grand California 680 behind me and also the 600. They've also got a very nice special edition T6 California Ocean that they've got some special deals on as well. So it's worth checking out. Brought loads of little Bentley stickers and we've left them on the front desk. So if you fancy picking one up, come to the front desk and ask and they should have, um, if they've got any left, then they'll obviously let you have a sticker. Um, but it's been really good popping into VW again. And if you want to see a more in-depth view of the Grand California or the T6.1 or even just the T6, check out the other videos on our channel. We'll link them in the description below as well and you can check all of that out. So we're inside Van Work's new prototype crafter conversion. It is very cool, very cool indeed. So we just, um, we had a quick look around. We're actually gonna be doing a full review of this um, later on in the year. We're gonna head down to Van Works HQ and uh, check it out along with some of their other stuff and see what they get up to. But just wanted to show you quickly what it is like here. This down here is actually a, a rock and roll bed. So you've got like four seats and also that is a, another double bed, which is cool. But I wanna try out, it's got, um, massive extensions on the, on the side of on one side so i want to see how big this is i'll just switch that off oh oh i'm liking that that looks big oh you've got plenty Ooh. of room there is that a comfy bed as well extremely comfy the mattress is amazing the looking. um the guy uh at van works was telling us that he went to the dusseldorf show to find someone who makes awesome mattresses and He's definitely done that. But this is huge. This is really, really big, actually. I'm very impressed with this. Sleeping widthways in a crafter, and it's got an extension just on one side, but it's about that big. It sticks out, but it's still within, it's still inside the uh, width of the mirrors, but it's, it's amazing. It's such a comfy bed. After a long day at the show, I could just lay here, actually. Do you want to try this bed? Oh, so there's already a step here as well. Yeah, they've got like a built-in step. Oh my gosh. Oh. That is huge. It's big, isn't it? My feet don't even like... fit the... Like, I'm not even up to the top here and I don't... Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> it's pretty what amazing bed. bed. Yeah. I don't know how Bentley would climb right, up to we'll get onto you. Later, but as you can see, it's all um, like a wood finished worktop induction hob and it's got an incredible um, battery setup system which means that it can run that even off grid which is pretty amazing there's all the gear up there look but like I say we'll be doing a full review of this later in the year check out that interior that's actually a classic Westphalia interior very smart indeed Us done for another NEC show. We've had a really good time. We've seen some great bands, haven't we? Yep. Let us know what your favourites are in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe. And don't forget, we've got in the description all the different tours that we've done that we've mentioned in this video. So check that out if you want to see one of those videos next. Otherwise, thanks very, very much for watching, and we will see you very soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>